Hi guys, Guycrush and I here again before Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And this is the first of the extra videos, and to be honest, there probably isn't going to be a whole lot of extras in this game, because well, there's really not a whole lot else to do in this game. Of course, the one major thing that I have to tackle, of course, is the legendary Pokemon. And the first of which is in Seafoam Islands, if you couldn't understand where I am right now. Uh, legendary Pokemon are a very powerful Pokemon in this game that only appear once ever. And, like, you have to capture it, like, if you want it. If you faint it, there, it, it never comes back. So, and yeah, they usually have very good stats, and, eh, Well, in the first generation, you don't really learn very good moves. But anyways, to get to the Seafoam Island one here, um, you solved that rock puzzle. I already did. I showed that off in the first time I went through Seafoam accidentally. But once you get the, that rock puzzle settled, you'll get to, you know, be able to surf to this island. And here is the first Pokemon, which is obviously a bird. I'm going to save, because I have a feeling this is... I'm, I'm not going to get in one try, and let's do it. Okay, try number two. Yeah, accidentally painted this guy. <laughs> Alright, so... Articuno! Sorry, I screwed up the cry there. Level 50, Ice and Flying type. One of two Ice-type Pokemon in the yellow, uh, the yellow version that isn't part water. Now, Articuno comes back in with only two moves, which is pretty sad considering what po type of Pokemon it is. Did it just- Oh my god, it froze my Pokemon! Wow, I don't think- I, I don't know if I've ever shown off the frozen status. I think I maybe I have, but... Yeah, so that's pretty odd, but yeah, Peck and Ice Beam. Ice Beam is just really the one move you want to be careful of. Uh, basically how I like to go about capturing legendary Pokemon is, first off, I like to paralyze it. Um, Paralysis... Oh, God. Oh, crap, I confused it. <laughs> I don't want to confuse... I didn't want to. Um, anyways, Paralysis, I prefer it over Sleep, because Paralysis never goes away. Uh, it periodically prevents the Pokemon from attacking. Urgh, it's getting close to dying. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's an easy... To, uh, God dang, I hate missing. I hate that thing, like... I like they, the the missing Pokemon thing is like only in like the first gen. I think like in the second gen, like it it like you know the ball pops and oh man, that was close. It's gonna kill itself if it confuses. Oh oh good okay. Oh man okay um let's switch to Nami. A Nami is you know pure water type, so it's gonna be resistant against the Ice Beam. Plus Nami has high HP and high special, so it'll be well defended. All right. Fourth Ultra Ball, go! Oh, oh shoot. Alright! Awesome! Okay, that, that's how you do it. How funny how the first time it hits... Oh, hold on. Freeze Pokemon! A legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow. So yeah, the first time I hit the Pokemon with a ball, that should catch us. How about that? Anyways, gotta get out of this cave, and I'll see you in the next location. I am here in Victory Road, or right in front of Victory Road, and this is where the second legendary Pokemon is. Uh, slap on yet another Max Repel, and let's go in. Now, I know what probably some of you are thinking right now. Uh, why are you showing the pass to these Pokemon, even though like you pretty much always already explored these dungeons? Well, I, I figure for frustrating sake, you know, you want to make sure where you have to go, what you have to do. Um, uh, Seafoam Island is pretty self-explanatory, like, um, like I said, just go back to that one video where I actually go through Seafoam, and that's how you solve that boulder puzzle there, and, um, yeah, and Victory Road, you know, I, I just want to show, like, I want to show you guys how to get to these Pokemon, so, like, you know, when I, when I walk to these Pokemon, I, I don't have any comments to go, how do you get to that thing? I'm lost. I don't have any escape ropes, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Well, first, get a Pokemon that knows Dig, foo! And second, yeah, this is a Let's Play, and I, well, I just, I, I just want to help you guys out. Anyways, for Victory Road, you want to make sure that, of course, you bring a Pokemon that knows Strength, because that's the only way you can get around in Victory Road. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> gotta push yet another boulder, but luckily this is the uh, last boulder that we have to push in order to get to the Legendary Pokemon. Also, if your Pokemon get, like, really badly damaged from these Legendary Pokemon, it's a good idea to bring a few escape ropes with you, or a Pokemon that knows Teleport or Dig. Um, I had to walk out of Seafoam on my own, unfortunately, but... Um, 
Yeah, but yeah, with Graveler, I'll be able to dig my way out. But yeah, make sure that you have a you know, quick escape plan. Otherwise, I'll have to trek through the rest of the dungeon or however. Uh, uh, where am I going? Yeah, I have to go down here. Right. See, like I said, I was about to get lost right there. So yeah, I don't have to push that boulder because I don't have to go any further in Victory Road. So all I have to do is just go down this staircase here. And there it is. There's the second bird. Oh! I'm sure that's how it sounds, but that's how I think it sounds. Anyways, Wild Moltres appeared. The uh, uh, Pokedex wise, this is the third uh, fly, uh, like legendary bird of the. Yeah, forget what I'm saying. And it's level 50, fire and flying type. It knows Peck and Fire Spin. Uh, out of the three legendary birds that you'll find, this is probably the most pathetic of the move sets. To be honest, uh, the thing about Moltres is that Moltres has always given me. Well, how's that super effective? What? I'm without fire with like. Oh wait, that's right. This is first gen. There's no defense. Anyways, uh, getting back to what I was saying, Moltres has always given me problems. Um, well, especially with Fire Red, like trying to catch it in Mount Ember, like Articuno and the other legendary bird. I I've always had quite a good time with, but um, Moltres always just had the worst luck with Moltres sometimes, mainly with just, like, I don't kill it or anything, I just, like, uh, it's really hard for me to capture it. Uh, hopefully I can buck that trend. It's in good condition now, so I'll just start throwing balls and see what happens. And, of course, it starts missing yet again. I don't see how I can miss a Pokemon so big. I mean, if I was living with, like, a Ditto or something, or a Caterpie, I could understand the whole, you missed the Pokemon, uh. But I don't want to save here. I don't know. The same thing with the Chansey, either. Alright, let's uh, send out Nami so I can get better defense. I don't know, maybe Nami will be the Pokemon that allows me to capture this guy. Alright, another one's flaw. Go! Alright, go again! Arr, come on. Just get caught. caught. Yeah. There we go! Okay. And, oddly enough, that was the first time it hit the ball hit the Pokemon, too. Just like Articuno. Anyways, we'll try his flame Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon. As it flaps its flaming wings, even the night sky will turn red. That's what I like about legendary Pokemon. They have such the coolest descriptions. Of course, I'm probably going to say that, and then the next legendary Pokemon I get is going to get, like, some really crappy one. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm going to get one later on. Anyways, let's dig and move on. Alright, uh, final location, probably the final location for this video. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure how much time I've used up yet. I am Route 10, I believe. I don't know, it's the route right next to Rock Tunnel. Anyways, you want to head up here. Now, you're going to need a Pokemon that knows Surf in order to get to this final place, and this is actually a place we've never explored before, so... Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> I have to show how to get to this Pokemon. Anyways, yeah, you use Surf, and you Surf all the way down to here. In yellow version, there are no wild grass patches like they're worried about Heart Gold and Soul Silver or whatever. Is this a trainer? Wow, you Pokemon I get too? Want to see my collection? No, I don't want to see your collection. I want to add something to my collection. No, I don't want to battle you! Ah! Alright, what you got? He's got a Rhyhorn and a Lickitung. Wow, level 30 Pokemon. Who did you. Oh, uh, how did you expect that to end, really? Yeah. Alright, so anyways, here we are at the power plant. The Kanto power plant. That is all they call it. Now, uh, we want to slap on yet another Max Repel, because there are actually wild Pokemon in this little dungeon here. And I'll get describing on them now, I guess. In yellow version, you can find the following Pokemon here. Magnemite, Magneton, Grimer, Muck, and Voltorb. Now, the uh, funny thing about this little dungeon here is that, like... Um, there, there are a lot of these item balls that you'll see here. However, as General Akbar would say, they're a trap! <laughs> Some of these items turn out to be actually Pokemon! And not just any Pokemon, it's Voltorb! At a radical level 42. Holy crap. Man, I should have probably trained Nidoking here, huh? Anyways, yeah, there are a lot of item balls in this dungeon, and the grand majority of them are either Voltorb or Electro. 
you do not want to fight in the last run because probably the speeds that they're at may outpower your Pokemon. I don't know, I'm already at level 60, so probably not. Anyways, level th no, I'm okay. TM33 Reflect. Basically the one uh, five turn move that defends your Pokemon better against physical attacks. So you see all these balls here are Pokemon, except for this one down here. Now, I believe I, there are only five items here, and this is the third, TM25. This is for Thunder. Thunderbolt's bigger, stronger, brother, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, super powerful, 70% accurate, and 30% chance of paralysis. You've seen Pikachu use it before, so you know what it is. Anyways, this room at, right here actually has the last two items of this dungeon, so after that, we can just skip everything else. The first one is a rare candy. And keep in mind, you can visit this place before finding the Elite Four. In fact, you probably should, but, you know, I was saving it for an extra because it wasn't essential. And, of course, an HP up. And you know what HP does? Uh, HP up does? It raises your Pokemon's HP by, ha like, it, however, it depends, honestly, on the Pokemon. Like, if, if the Pokemon, like, um, has, like, high HP, then if you get an HP up, it'll probably get, like, probably four or five or six points. If you get a Pokemon that has, uh, low HP, though, it'll probably only get one or two. Like, Pikachu, I've given it a few H uh, HP ups, and, um, I go left. <laughs> I mind blinked there. And we're pretty much at the end of the dungeon right here. And there's the last of the Pokemon. Gayo! Don't they say, uh, don't these birds ever say anything else? Anyways! Zapdos! The electric and flying type Pokemon. Level 50 with Drill Peck and Thundershock. Now, Drill Peck is not the, um, like that one hit kill thing or whatever. It's just like a more powerful version of Peck, basically. So, yeah. I don't know why they gave these Pokemon only two attacks, but yeah, it makes it easier to, uh, you know, catch them, I guess. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't rely on Nami for this time, so I have to rely on King Nido because he's the only ground-type Pokemon I have. Yeah, I put Graveler back in the, you know, box because I don't really need him. And how ironic how Thunderbolt is super effective against the electric and flying-type Pokemon. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I think I'll give one more off. No! Oh god! Oh my god, that's that one. Oh my god, that is so close. Okay. Okay, calm down. I can start throwing balls at it now. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Go Ultra Ball. I missed the Pokemon. It's surprising. Go Ultra Ball 2. Oh, no way. No way! <laughs> Two balls! Awesome, okay. Well, I caught Articuno 4, I guess, so... Anyways, Zapdos, Electric. This legendary bird Pokemon is said to appear when the sky turns dark and lightning showers down. And so there we are. There is the three legendary bird Pokemon of the original generation. And luckily for us, the exit of the dungeon is right here. And that actually spits us out the same door. What about that? That, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, let's just fly back to, uh... I think that's, I think, where I want to be next. Okay, just to show off these Pokemon in order of Pokedex. Articuno, uh, good special in um, defense, uh, slightly, a tiny bit lagging in attack and speed. Uh, Peck and Ice Beam, yeah. <laughs> and of course, level 50. Next, uh, Zapdos. So yeah, this one's a little bit more well-balanced, but its defense is uh, it's slightly lower than the rest of its stats. Electric and Flying type, over 50, 5 points left before it died. <laughs> and then Thundershock and Drill Pack, of course. Mm -hmm. Just showing it off. I'm kind of proud of my catches right here. And then finally, the last of the three birds, Moltres. Good attack and special, slightly lagging behind in defense and special. I mean, speed, what am I saying? Fire and Flying type. And it comes packing with the worst move set out of the three, Peck and Fire Spin. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. But yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this extra video here. This is Guy Christian 9 of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And in the next episode, I'll go hunting after even more legendary Pokemon. Mwahaha! <laughs> See you later, guys.